hi guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well thank you so much for tuning in it's me you again kamis please if it's your first time to be on this channel kindly hit that button and also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos you guys i have a lot of video coming on uh there's one i talked about you know deportation and today i want to talk about work permits uh, I have done videos before talking about how to come to Sweden through work permit but this one is when you're already in Sweden and you apply for a work permit so normally if you come in as a student you can change from student visa to working visa and that is when you have studied uh, for about 30 credits and also if you for example you come to Sweden as an asylum seeker and then maybe you get your first negative and you don't want to take chances you know for the second and the third because <laughs> you never know what can happen so what a lot of people do is that when you get uh, when you get you know you seek asylum uh, sometimes it can take time before you get your decision and uh, they can give you your LMA card and uh, while waiting for your decision you have the right to stay and work so what people do is like they try as much as they can to look for work don't be an asylum seeker and sit down and be ex uh, getting that small money that uh, the migration are giving you because that small money and uh, most of the time it's become a burden for the system and that's why you see most of these cases they they might tell you to go back but if you're working hard many cases although it's not all the cases but most of the time if you're working hard and you're looking for your money then you can always apply uh, you know leave the asylum case and now apply through work so now i want to talk about you know people make a lot of mistakes and a lot of times people are deported or they get deniers and they get frustrated because they did not look for information they did not understand you know i don't blame them because sometimes you you don't know and uh, you just make some mistakes and they cost you a lot so there's this um person that i know that uh, his work permit was denied and he was asked to go back to his country so what happened is that normally when you are doing the application the migration will ask you for your three months your latest uh, salary pay slip you know normally um before you get your salary then they will send before or even after the your work uh, your employer will send you your salary pay slip and there it gets to show how many hours you're working if you're working per hour your salary your taxes deduction and everything you know every information is there and of course your name is there your address where you live so normally the swedish agency says that you know for requirements for you know a work permit guys let me read um read them carefully you guys i always like to check from the swedish migration agency because i've had a lot of you know conflicts with people telling me i don't know what i am saying so i like to go to the source so to obtain a work permit you must have an employment contract and that contract must have been signed by you and your employer either in english or in swedish and uh, it will, the english one must be translated and then you of course you have to give the original document you know have an employment with terms of employment that are at least on par with those set by swedish collective agreements or which are customary with the occupation or industry so that is what they call collective aftan have a salary that at least uh, on par with us set by Swedish collective agreements or which I mean salary that goes with the agreements or customer with the occupation occupation industry so it's very very important have an employment that will enable you to support yourself in order to satisfy this support requirement you need to work to an extent that will result in a salary of at least 13,000 Swedish crown before tax so normally the salary for one person as a sole applicant is 13,000 before tax. If it's a family, then 
it's more than that it depends on your family and your you know your your cost and how many kids you have have an employer who provides insurance covering health life employment and pension when you begin to work so it's it's not easy guy because all these some companies don't have all these insurances so you need to check and ask your company uh, if they are going to provide um, health life employment and pension when you begin to work because if they don't have you might have to you know ask them to do it for you so that your your application will not be rejected so let me now go back to this person that his application was denied he had a very good job very very good work and his salary was actually even more than 13,000 uh, 13, Swedish crown so the Swedish migration agency now ask him to bring the latest or you know the reason the the last they will ask for your last pay slip you know for the recent month unfortunately for this person um there were some days he did not work and then there were some days he was sick and that affected him so there was irregularity on his work you know a timetable and that affected his salary pay slip guys in this in this case it's it's hard guys it's it's it was hard because he tried to appeal and they said oh, remember he came from asylum and then he goes to work permit and then there was problem with his uh, salary pay slip and the migration agency said no and he has to go back to his to his country in fact the worst thing is that you know before they would give you a negative decision and tell you no they are not going to do that then you 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 go back to your country and they will not even bother contacting your your company so which means you still can work you know but now hey guys things are getting tough in sweden every day so what they do some most companies are even afraid because if you if the migration agency give uh, maybe your employee a negative decision they will call you and tell you that look this person is not allowed to work or stay in sweden so definitely your employer will have to fire you yes because if they are caught or if the immigration agency now or the government now finds out that that person is working under your company and he doesn't have the proper documents then you're going to be fined and uh, i think the fine is about more i think three hundred thousand swedish crowns if i'm right yes so which company has that kind of money we all know that sweden <laughs> you know the cost of running business is very high and you're not going to add more unnecessary cost cost so this person was now told no because of these irregularities we are not going to give you your work permits and it was deny after denial guys i i felt for this person i f really felt bad because it's just a small mistake small mistake what happens is that shooting we are all human beings we can fall sick something can happen you know anything that happens to you if you are applying for extension of work permits or working permits resident permits whatever that happens to you that concerns your job please 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 you need to tell the migration agency and most of the time you need a backup you need a proof you need an evidence maybe a letter from the doctor maybe booked appointment drugs that you are taking you know calls because at least you can stay at home for some three days but if it's more than that then you need a um, letter from the doctor stating that you are sick or something happened something that prevented you from working but if you just keep quiet like that and you just tell them verbally that you are sick or something happened it's gonna be very very hard so you need to have evidence you need to have to show that you are sick something happened to you you know and the thing will be showing the date the document will be showing the date and the doctor can even write a letter for you 
so you guys yeah so um, when it comes to work permit especially when it comes to your salary pay slip it's very very important that you work the hours you're supposed to work and get the amounts of money you're supposed to work and i talked i spoke about one family that was deported from sweden uh, i think last year and this is because after living in Sweden, I think for 11 years, they were deported because their work permit was uh, was not, ex whether they were extending or, yeah, I think they were extending, they had the same problem. First of all, they went to all these quack employers. I'm telling you, some employers are crazy. They don't do their work. And they did not advertise the job because according to the Swedish Migration Agency, if you're applying for a job outside, you know uh, you have or e even here actually but most of the time it's outside sweden you the job has to be advertised even even where while you're here because how did you get the job but they concern more when you're outside you know here they have arbeits for midlingen you have contact through people you can go to the companies and look for your job yourself but outside so the job was not correctly advertised and they also had the same problems with the salary Sometimes they were not working f uh, the hours they're supposed to work, which means their salary pay slip was below 13,000. It has to be 13,000. In fact, when you're looking for a job, it's better you look for a job that pays you 16, 17,000 there before tax. I think that would be the best. Let it not be 13,000 exactly. So that's what happened, guys. So because of these little irregularities, this cost this person his you know working permit and now it has now made him to be he cannot even work where he's working so which means now he has to leave the job and try to look for other means of you know survival because most of the time like i was saying uh that video maybe will come out before this one is like when they give you a decision that you must leave the country what do you do? It's hard for you to just pack your bags like that with no money, with no what. I think most people need to think like, okay, now it has come to this, what should I do? I need to work hard, save money, try to invest and go back home and start a business. Because like I, I, in that video, you're going to listen to my own advice and what I think you should do when they give you a deportation letter or when they decide that they are going to deport you and when they say they deport you, it doesn't mean that you cannot come back to Sweden. No. If you have a work, you can still apply for a work, a permanent resident or any other means. Because if you stay so much illegally, you can be banned. Maybe they can ban you for two years, five years. I think I'm going to talk about that in another video so that I can help you understand that the more you delay, the more it's it's even more dangerous you can be banned from sweden and other eu countries so it's better for you to make the decision if you can so you guys yeah so when you are doing for work permit there are certain mistakes that you will not make because they are going to cost you your working permit and you are going to go to be deported and it's it's very imagine as a single person or imagine when you have a family that's why you see so many deportation cases if you have a family and kids it's very painful so anyway guys i hope this video helps somebody there if you are planning to extend for your working permit very very careful read everything read 10 times if you like to call immigration agency and ask them ask them if everything if if you feel that they are not helping you look for someone that can help you there's always somebody maybe look for somebody that has done application there's all also all these websites on facebook you know there are all these facebook websites that talks about work permit extension and all those things so you can contact them ask questions because i see people asking questions and they get answers so information is everywhere it's on instagram you can get people talking about work resident permit how to do it like me now on youtube i'm talking so if you have any question drop it and i will try my level best to answer it then you can go to tiktok i mean social media is there newspapers are there migration agency website is there so you guys i hope 
this helps somebody and i will see you in my next video bye